Alright, I have another exponential triangle for you guys, but this time I put e to the x, e to the x, e to the x on an equilateral triangle. So that means all the sides are the same. And we are going to have the area to be e to the 3x. So how can we make that true though? Of course, this is not always true, right? Because we cannot just multiply e to the x, e to the x, e to the x. That's not how we find the area of an equilateral triangle. But anyway, we have to find x to make this true. And of course, you know it, please pause the video and try this first. Done? Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and do this. Of course, what's the formula for the area of an equilateral triangle? I will remind you guys and I will do a quick proof for you guys, right? So recall the following. When we have an equilateral triangle, all the sides are the same, so let's call them to be S. And the way that we can figure out the area is, we can make a vertical cut, and this is going to cut them into two equal pieces. And then I'm just going to look at this part in red. So the bottom piece is just going to be one half of S, because it's half. And then this right here we don't know yet, so I'm just going to call that put to be B, and this is just S. So now to figure out B, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm just going to write it down right here. We want to have one half s square. That's plus b square, and we have to make that equal to s square. And then let's just solve for b. So I'm just going to move this to the other side. This means b square equals s square minus. We have to work that out. So this is going to be one half square, which is one over four, and then s square. And then we can get the common denominator. This is going to be 4 over 4. So this is b squared equals, subtract, we get 3 over 4, and then s squared. And then so for b, we will just take the square root on both sides. And just a positive version because we want, we're doing geometry. So yeah, just a positive version. So b equals, okay, square root of 3 is square root of 3, and then square root of 4 is 2. And then s squared, square root that is just s. So b is equal to this. So what good does that do? Well, we can just say that a for area is going to be 1 half times the base, which is this s in blue, right? And then times the height, which is b, which is that. So I'm just going to put that down as square root of 3 over 2, and then s. What in the world is this? Square root of 3 over 2. All right, and then work this out. We can see that the area is s square, and then two two, right? And then this, then that is square root of three over four, and then s square. Wrong color, sorry, right here. I just noticed that. All right, so just just a quick proof for the little area of the, just a little proof for the area of the equilateral triangle. Now to get back to this, s is equal to e to the x. All right, and then we want the area to be e to the three x. Therefore, to make this true, we will have to put e to the 3x to be a. So we will have e to the 3x here. And hopefully that's equal to square root of 3 over 4. And then s, again, is e to the x. And then square that. Hopefully this is true for some uh, uh, for your x. All right, so to work this out, this is just e to the 2x. So this is e to the 3x equals square root of 3 over 4 e to the 2x. Now, this is actually not bad at all because we can just divide both sides by e to the 2x. Why? Because we know that e to the 2x is always greater than 0. So we are not going to be dividing by 0, you know? So let's go, let's go ahead and bring this here. We will have this divided by that is just subtract the powers 3x minus 2x, just x. So we have e to the x. And that's equal to that square root of 3 over 4. So we will just solve an exponential equation and take the ln on both sides like this, like that, and then we get this and that cancel. x equals, if you write square, if you write ln of square root of 3 over 4, I think people will be okay with this. Yeah, but if you want to be fancy a little bit, I'm just going to show you how else you can write it. This right here is also equal to ln of that but square root is the same as one half power, and we can bring the one half in the front of the ln. So one half ln of three, and then minus ln of this. And four is the same as two to the second power, so we can try the s. Two to the second power, but bring that two to here. So one way or the other, depends on how you like it. So yeah, 
I think this is really cool because yeah, we have three of the e to the x, and then in the middle we have e to the three x. And uh, of course, you know it. The reason I said this is really cool because I came up with this myself. But anyway, hopefully you guys all like this. Check out my other videos if you want to see similar questions like this.